Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify outliers in your data. I'm going to show you two methods. One is with conditional formatting. So you can see the outliers have an orange background. And the second method uses the new filter function in Excel 365 to produce a table of the outlying records. Okay, let's see how this can be done. Now, the first step is to house your data set in an Excel table. And to do that, click in any cell in the data and go up to Insert Table or use the shortcut key Control T. And here you just need to confirm the range of cells you want to house in the table and also that you already have headers. I do, so I'm just going to click on OK. I can change the color scheme of my table up on the Table Design tab. I'm just going to go for this orange color scheme. Then what you want to do is name your table. So still on this table design tab, go over to the left here, and I'm just going to call this table returns data. Can't have a space in a table name, but you can have an underscore. Now I need to perform some statistical calculations on my returns column. And I'm going to do that with the quartile function and in fact you'll see there are three different quartile functions you've got a legacy quartile function here and then you've got the two new ones we're going to go for quartile inclusive that will work for this scenario and here we have two arguments array and quart now array is the range of cells that you're performing the analysis on and we can get to that by specifying the table that we're performing the calculation on and then the column within that table and then in the second argument we specify which quarter we want to do the calculation on so we'll say the first quarter then we need to do the same calculation but on the third quarter so i'll just copy this formula into the cell and change the one to a three then i need to calculate the interquartile range which will give me the statistical 50 percent of my data set and that's achieved by just subtracting the two results that I have up here. So nine minus six. Then I need to calculate my lower fence and my upper fence. Anything below the lower fence will be an outlier and anything above the upper fence will be an outlier. Now to calculate the lower fence, we take the first quartile and minus the IQR times 1.5. So it is generally agreed that 1.5 can be used to establish a lower and upper fence. So that's my lower fence. My upper fence would be the third quartile plus the IQR times 1.5. So I now have my lower fence and my upper fence, and I can apply conditional formatting based on these values. I'm going to select all the cells in the returns column, click in the first cell and use the shortcut key, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to go back to the active cell. Then on the home tab of my ribbon, I go to the conditional formatting button, highlight cells rules, more rules, cell value, not between my lower fence value and my upper fence value. And then I can choose a format to apply. If a cell meets this condition. So I just have an orange background, white font. Click on OK, click on OK, and it applies the conditional formatting. Now, the second method I want to use to identify outliers is where I use the new filter function in Excel 365. The filter function is going to produce a table of results. But when I use the filter function, I only need to write a formula in one cell and it will spill its results into surrounding cells. Where array is the range of cells that you are filtering, so that's returns data. Include is where you specify the criteria for your filter. And this criteria is the same as the criteria we used for conditional formatting. The returns value needs to be lower than the lower fence and higher than the upper fence. So my first criteria will be that the returns value is less than the lower fence value. 
know, to refer to the returns column, but first of all, refer to the table it's in, returns data, then open a square bracket and refer to that column, closing the square bracket after that column name. And then I'm going to say it needs to be less than the lower fence value. I then need to put that in brackets and then specify my next criteria. Now between the two criteria, I'm going to use a plus symbol. Plus is used when you have all criteria and multiplication is used when you have and criteria. Now this is all criteria because we're saying the value has to be less than the lower fence or higher than the upper fence value. So open a bracket and I'm specifying the same column but this time it needs to be higher than the upper fence value. So I close the bracket for that criteria. Now the if empty argument can be used to specify the value you want to return if there are no outliers. So we'll just say no outliers found. Close the bracket, press enter, and it returns all the outlier records. Now it'd be nice if we could sort that data by returns. So I can use the sort function. Sort has one mandatory argument, which is array, which is returned by our filter function. And then I can use sort index to specify that I want to sort by the fourth column, the returns column. So I just put a four in there and it will sort in ascending order by default. So I can just close the bracket, press enter. And now I have my returns in ascending order. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.